Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm going to do a flip through of my fall journal. I finally finished it. I've got this closure that I crocheted and I just crocheted it using embroidery floss. And I just added in beads and charms throughout. I hope you can see it. But I just I got this I was inspired to do this by Barbara of 49 Dragonflies. And my journal, my topper is this is the Forest Fairies and it is um the papers, the digitals came from Bontique Vintage Designs and it is called um Fall Fairy Forest. But I've got a few charms, a little bit of doily some stickers, some leaves, and then part of the digital. I've got a pocket here. This is uh, some of the wired ribbon. I took the wire out. I love the colors on this. It's got lots of writing space. And I've got lots of little tags and such tucked throughout. This right here came from the um, Digital Collage Club. And I just got a little short page there. I added some ribbon onto that one, some coffee dyed paper. I just did a little envelope that you can write on. I got this idea from Big Mama Sandy Moore, where you use a glue stick and emboss gold, and I love the way it turned out. This is one of the um, cards that I did a video on. Added some lace. Aren't those beautiful, the colors? I did uh, gold and black splatters throughout. Some more just little tucky ends here, tags and things that I've gotten. Some come from the kit and some don't. I've got this charm with owl. The other side of that page. And this I figured you can either write or you can decorate it however you want. And I do have my Etsy shop and this will be going up into it later today. Got this fold out. I've got the tag in the pocket there. Had just a little tuck spot there. This also came from the Digital Collage Club. And this is one of the hidden journaling cards that I did a video on. Love those. That came from the Digital Collage Club. Here's a tag I did a video on. I love that face. I just did like washi stickers throughout. This what this tag was inspired by Gail Augustinelli, and it's just got little tags all tucked in here that you can write on the back of. Tag there. Altered guest check. Some more little things tucked in. Oops. There we go. Love it out. Another flip out. Make sure you can see it. I didn't put anything there, but you can tuck something there if you want. Another one of those pages. Another altered guest check. And this one flips out for journaling space. Like I said, there's plenty of writing space 
or you can decorate it however you'd like. Another tuck out or pull out, flip out. That's what we're trying to say. Another little tuck spot. Here's some more journaling space. tucked in there. Another charm with a little tree. An ultra playing card that I used as a tuck and another tag I did on a video. So pretty. I've got these little things. This little page was um, inspired by Dear Julie Julie. It is one of our um, things that we have to do on our um, next journal for October, which I decided to do it for this journal as well. A little owl. Another flip out. I love the colors. They're so vibrant. Another tag that um, I did a, um, a video on. Look at that face. And I've got um, this little envelope that's got just paper to write on, coffee dyed paper. spots here and there and this one's a little Celtic cross I believe that's what that is or Celtic knot got a belly band and this would be more writing space or you can make it an envelope Oops. get it tucked in there this um, around the page pocket that was inspired by Rachel at Roxy's Creation. And I've got this little and it also has writing space there. I just took the bookmark in there. You may recognize some of these items from the journal I did for Dear Julie Julie. But it's an idea journal, so I didn't need everything that in there, so I took some of this stuff back out. Oh, I know I got it out. I will work on that. I got another one of my hidden journaling spot journaling cards that I did a video on tucked in there and I've got lots of different little an altar guest chat just different things tucked in the other side of that page stuff tucked in. I just used a Reader's Digest for my cover. I just thought it was pretty colors for the fall journal and I hope you like this video. If you do, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Check it out in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I'd appreciate that and Y'all have a great and wonderful day. I hope everybody's doing great. 
But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't and ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. And until next time, bye y'all.